All right, we're gonna do a reshoot. All right, hello and welcome to Joe's Life One. This is Joe. Today we're gonna to be talking about the SEAH1 Arrowhead. It's classified as a knife, but uh, it's really an arrowhead. Pretty cool. Um, it's a 1095 high carbon steel with a powder coat on it. It's uh, It's got blade edge on each side there. It's nice and sharp, nice sharp tip. It's got two little humps down here to help so you can tie off. Uh, see that there? There's two little humps there. All right. So uh, this uh, this arrowhead slash knife, uh, I put it. Uh, I built sheath for it. It's just cardboard and a little bit of duct tape around there, gorilla tape, and it goes in my survival kit. And it doesn't weigh very much. It doesn't poke anything. And doesn't take up very much space in my survival kit, and uh, I just leave it in there. And it, do it doesn't necessarily have to be just an arrowhead. Uh, I would probably use it as a as a gig, or a spear point, a javelin point, or uh, for a trap. Um, I think it'd be a good a good uh, kill piece for a trap. And I can show you that here in a second. All right. I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So if this was your trap right here, this would be one tree, another tree, and you tie a rope between the two of them, you got a board in the middle, and you put your spear point right on the tip right there, and as the animal walks through and trips it, it walks, it snaps down and hits it. It's a, I'd be a great trigger for, or a great uh, kill, kill piece for a trap there. Um, anyway, um, I'm probably not going to talk too much more about it. Uh, I will show how I tie the uh, tie the SEA AH1 to a dowel. Uh, it'd just be easier if I use a dowel. Um, and I actually already cut it earlier. I'm reshooting this video. Um, it just didn't turn out very well. And then I'm going to go ahead and take it and I will uh, use it like a, a javelin and throw it into a fence uh, uh, that I have out back there. Just so you can see it, uh, it goes in no problem, and it ties up real tight. I'm not going to go over. I'll probably go over real quick how I tie it, but um, I'm not going to focus up too much on the tying of the uh, tying it down. And I'll just I'm just going to demonstrate it real quick. Nothing nothing crazy. Anyways, it's Joe Joe's Life One. Stick around, and we will be uh, demonstrating the SE AH1 Arrowhead. Thank you. All right, so we're going to be doing a demonstration of the AH1. Uh, first thing, I'm going to be cutting my paracord here. So cut the paracord, and I'm going to cut the back end too here. Now I have all that paracord line, and I still have the original paracord. I think I was talking about that in an earlier video. And I like to cut a notch in my, I'm gonna use a piece of dowel today, just to, uh, just to, um, just, just, just for ease of uh, use. Um, I, uh, would use a stick but I don't want to spend a bunch of time out looking for a stick when I got a piece of dowel right here that'll work perfect all right I'm back I just had to cut the notch a little deeper on the dowel there kind of like that and I just start to wrap it right underneath there Boom. And then I wrap tight.
All right, I went ahead and retied this. I'm using, uh, on this time, I'm gonna use some, leave in some of the footage in there so you can see how I tied it with the paracord. But I went ahead and uh, retied it with floss, which I find works a lot better. It's a lot tighter on there. I mean, you can see this thing is not wiggling at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw it with this. I have, I've had a lot more success with smaller twine. Uh, I mean, I could separate out the paracord more, but I'm, I don't have time to, to go redo everything. So I'm going to leave the paracord on there, uh, part of the video, showing you how I tied it. And I pretty much did the same thing. I just did it a little bit tighter with a, uh, with a, a floss material instead. And you'll, you'll see it's, it's actually really tight on there. And I'm going to go out and throw it uh, at, the, uh, at the fence here. And I'll be able to show you that. But I just wanted to show you that you can get a much better, much better and and uh, and tighter tie on there with a the floss. And I was also going to say that this hole here is uh, is is very important for uh, for hand tying these onto uh, onto uh, sticks and stuff. So that's also a pretty cool little part of it. Anyways, I'll see you guys out there, and then we'll come back and talk about it at the end. Thank you. All right, there you go. You can see the AH1 hit the uh, hit the fence there. No damage to it. It's still pretty tight on the on the stick there. Um, I mean, it works pretty well. You can't complain. Um, and that's just me throwing it in, but you know, I mean, it would work just fine. Um, anyway, this has been Joe with Joe's Life One, a uh, review and demonstration of the SEAH AH1 Arrowhead, and this goes in my survival kit very small doesn't take up very much uh, room doesn't weigh very much awesome little blade thank you and have a good one